how important could that stoppage time goal prove to be in the context of this tie? On the day, Nottingham Forest running out 2-1 winners over the Blades, but all to play for on Tuesday night when we head down to the city ground in Nottingham for the second leg of this championship playoff semi-final. Rob Kosluck is still alongside me in the studio. Games, ties can change on such moments. Yeah, if you're going to the city ground at 2-0, I mean, the goal at the end into it is massive. It changes the, the course of the, the old tie. And, and we speak about being at half-time with the one-goal deficit. How many chances Forrest had on the day was probably alarming. And Eki will uh, look at that. And, well, and when you say it can change the whole tie, just the feeling around the stadium now, because it was flat up until that goal went in. And now everybody's on their feet. They're applauding the players. Mm -hmm. It's a sense that maybe the Blades might have just got out of jail here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the goal goes in and the voice, doesn't it, comes from the cop. You hear them getting behind the team again. But it was nothing we didn't speak about in the first half. The ball in, wasn't it, causes problems to Samba, the header. So the delivery into the box, which, was, which has to be better. At half-time, we said the Blades needed to start the second half fast. And to their credit, they did. Um, Sandra Berger, early on in the second 45, having an opportunity and firing a warning shot. I think Eki put, did exactly what they did to us in the first half, didn't he? He started spinning them round down the sides. He obviously created it. He gets a little bit underneath this, doesn't he? Don't get out his feet. And again, we don't, we don't test Samba enough, mm -hmm. aren't we? We've got to exploit the weakness, what we feel is in Samba, a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. We'll come on to that in a moment. But it was Berger at the four again. Started pulling the strings a little bit more as the game went on. Morgan Gibbs-White, will he be disappointed he didn't connect with that? I think so. I mean, we, we spoke about getting Sandra on the ball at half-time and he was causing... But that, that sort of delivery adds quality, doesn't it, when you whip mm -hmm. a ball in with a purpose? And yeah, uh, if he gets something on that, it goes towards goal. I think it's fairly safe to say as well that the Blades were enjoying their best spell of the entire match at that point. To their credit, if you're being cynical, the Forest took the sting out of the game and really benefited from it. A mistake by John Egan, but Joe Lolly was onto this quickly. Yeah, Lolly just come on, don't he, with the fresh legs. He just robs a, a little bit of a tired Egan there, turning there. And, uh, but. I mean, we do, they do everything there. I mean, Fleck to get in to block that, and then the ball falls. It falls nice mm. for Forrest, doesn't it? And Brennan Johnson does what he does best from that sort of range. So, errors, yeah, they do cost you, but at the same time, going in at the end here, being a 2-1, we've got a It's a good life. finish, that, though, isn't it, from it's Brennan Johnson? It's an excellent finish, and that's why he spoke about and, and at that moment in time, you really feared the worst because the blades started to look a little bit leggy. Chances started coming for his way again, and Spence really could have wrapped this tie up. Yeah, I think we mentioned it, didn't we, about was it a positive or a negative that they, uh, they can rest players in the last game with the momentum and that. And towards the end of the game, you saw mm. with, within the, the squad that probably Sheffield United looked a little tired on the legs. We, we were in here, weren't we, in the studio looking on and saying, you just need a break, you need something. Mm. In stoppage time, it came, it came mm. from a set piece, and you did feel, especially early on, that Samba looks suspect under these balls. Yeah, he tries to come through a, a, uh, probably a few players there, doesn't he? And he's, he's blaming about a block, which he's causing his own problems if he's trying to run through that. There's no block whatsoever. Mm. If he stays there, it probably doesn't he? But Who are we giving this goal to, by the way? Is it Jack Robinson's or Sander Berger? I think it comes off Sander, really, last, uh, doesn't he, Sander? So... And that can be something we can take to the city ground. If you put the balls in like that, don't you? You know Samba probably probably get in blocked if he wants to mm. complain, don't you? So there's plenty of... Whilst there's been negatives within the game, there's plenty of positives to take to the city ground. Well, this is the thing now. We've got two days to prepare mm. for Nottingham Forest away on mm. Tuesday night. If you're on the training field, I know that teams religiously practice set pieces. But having seen what we've seen there for, from Bryce Samba, that's going to be a crucial part of this game, isn't it? Yeah, I think a lot of Eki's work will be done uh, tactically within because recovery now is vital when you when you get to games coming thick and fast and, and how each team recover and, and talk about rather than being out on the training field and getting it back in your legs. So he's known, he's been in these situations before with Macker and Jack, so he's got a good, good team behind him to do the right things. 
Without question, it's going to be tough going down to the city ground. Nottingham, Rob Coslock, what kind of guy are you after that performance? Are you a glass half full or glass half empty? No, I'm always one that's uh, on, on the positive side. And I've, at the city ground, whilst all the uh, anticipation with our big crowd here at Bramall Lane mm. today and the, and the intense it brings, doesn't it? Hopefully that will uh, sway our, our side going down to the city ground. And, and obviously, I, I'm going to look for positives here, mm. but... They have that one goal lead. It's a two-legged affair. Can we play on any temptation they might have just to try and protect what they've got? I don't think within football nowadays you can go out and de defend a lead knowing that uh, Sheffield United at the city ground will mm. get chances and at the same time they will get chances. So this game is now poised on, on a, like you say, with a goal behind, but looking at the way today's gone, we are well and truly in this time. Absolutely. Rob Coslock, thanks for your company Thank you. this afternoon. 2-1 yeah. then, the Forest lead going into the second leg of this Championship playoff semi-final tie against the Blades. But a late goal from Sander Berger means the Blades' hopes are alive and kicking. We turn our attention to the city ground Nottingham 72 hours from now on Tuesday night. It's 7.45 kickoff. Yeah. SUTV Live will be on the air from 7pm. We'll see you then.